Time weather updates are now available from the White County Airport. It's a new tool that officials hope will bring more planes to the area. News 18's Holly Campbell reports how the new system may impact business in White County. Until three months ago, White County Airport was not equipped to transmit weather updates to passing pilots. When aircraft start to think about coming to Monticello, the first thing they look at is the airport facility, what type of amenities it has, fuel, etc., and then they want to see if it has on-site weather. And if it doesn't, they immediately discard that airport. But now the airport has its own automated weather observation system, or AWOS. AWOS sends real-time weather information to pilots. They have a frequency they can listen to, and also with some of the technology in the cockpits today, they can actually click on an icon in, on a screen, and it'll show them a write out of what the weather actually is. The system cost about $200,000 and was fully functional in February. Airport Assistant Manager Brian Townsend says it brings with it more opportunities for area businesses. That's the, one of the biggest reasons, probably the biggest reason why we went ahead with this project. Monticello has a lot of business and a lot of commerce going on, and we felt that one way to to put it more on the map was to bring in people from out of town that, that associate with those businesses. With the new magnetation plant under construction in Reynolds, Townsend says a lot of people visiting the plant use the airport. Before the system, flights would sometimes have to land in Logansport or Lafayette if there was a chance for bad weather. They actually send some folks down here out of Minnesota, sometimes as much as twice a week, but definitely once a month. And that's been happening for the last 18 months. And we have several factories in, the, in town also that I think the SAWAS will attract some of their um, corporate personnel to come visit. Townsend says it's a win for the airport and for the county. Holly Campbell, News 18.